Hello everyone, welcome back to Civil Learning Online YouTube channel. As we were learning inverse Laplace transformation, so we have reached about the application of inverse Laplace transformation in differential equations. So how we are going to do that, we are going to learn in this series and uh, through some numerical examples. So without any further delay, let's get started. So uh, let's begin the today's lecture and it says that suppose we are provided about the differential equation in terms of y and we are about to apply the Laplace transformation so its formula is going to be we here the d power d is 1 so we will do s times last Laplace transformation of y minus now decrease the power of s so s to the power 0 will be 1 so 1 times uh y 0 what if we have power d double dash y then it its uh, formula will be s square laplace transformation of y now decrease the power so we have s times y 0 minus now one more one more time we will decrease the power of s so it will get 1 and y dash 0 okay similarly if we have d dash 3 means third derivative of y so its uh, formula will be sq laplace transformation of y similar to this like 3 so power 3 minus this is minus s square y0 minus s times y dash 0 minus y double dash 0 so these are the formula and i hope you understood the formula what we are doing is we have we are taking the equal power of s uh, like wh what we have provided with the derivative number of y okay function that is function in terms of y and what we do we decrease the power of s by one and we do the uh, derivative of y see here this is first derivative second derivative of y and the power of s is decreasing here so similarly we have to proceed with the solution it will be more clear through an example so guys example. here the question is dq y upon dtq plus 2 d square y upon dt square minus dy upon dt minus 2y equals to 0 where y equals to 1 and dy upon dt equals to 2 we are provided with this value and we are also told that t equals to 0 so here it says that y 0 means when t equals to 0 we have y equals to 1 value similarly we have dy upon dt equals to 2 and d square y upon dt square equals to 2 we are going to use this value also in this equation so let's uh, solve this equation using the laplace transformation so uh, our first step is to take laplace transformation on both side so write proceed writing solution taking laplace transformation laplace transformation on both side so taking laplace transformation on both side we will have a equation in the form laplace transformation of d triple dash y okay plus two times laplace transformation of laplace transformation of d double dash y minus laplace transformation of d y minus okay let's bring this this side so we will have equals to two times laplace transformation of y okay so next what we will do we will apply the formula which i have already shown you so here it is power on uh, third derivative so its formula will get sq times this is y so sq times laplace transformation of y put minus sign we are solving this portion only minus so uh, we will have one decrease in the power of s so s square times y 0 minus s y dash 0 minus until we have uh, s 0 to the power 0 we have to proceed so uh, 
we have we will have y double dash zero up from here this is actually expanded in this form similarly we will proceed for this another one that is plus two times laplace transformation of uh, d double dash y so s square times laplace transformation of y minus s times y zero minus now s will get zero so s power will become zero so uh, s to the power zero is one so one times y dash zero okay so this was for second now for third we have laplace transformation of dy so dy is actually we have minus dy means yes times laplace transformation of y now s zero so minus will make it so let's re rewrite then we will change the sign later so we have y uh, y and 0 similarly 2 times Laplace transformation of y Laplace transformation of y now let's proceed further uh, let it be on the same side so we have minus 2 times Laplace transformation of y equals to 0 minus 2 times Laplace transformation of y equals to 0 this is because we have to take common I'm going to show you how we are going to do that. So we have SQ minus Laplace transformation of Y minus S square times Y zero, Y zero, Y zero value. Now Y zero equals to one. So S square times one minus S times Y dash zero. So Y dash zero, this is, this is Y zero equals to one, Y dash zero equals to two, y double dash 0 equals to 2 these are given in the question so we have y dash 0 equals to 2 y dash 0 equals to 2 so s times 2 minus y double dash 0 to so 2 and plus 2 times s square laplace transformation of y so s square uh, multiply this so we will have here 2 times Lapla uh, s square laplace transformation of y minus 2 years times y0 y0 is 1 minus y dash 0 y dash 0 is 2 uh, and 2 get multiplied with 2 so it get 4 it will get 4 uh, and here we have minus s times laplace transformation of y so s times laplace transformation of y and minus and minus will get plus and we have here this is y0 so y0 is again 1 and we have here minus 2 times laplace transformation of y equals to 0 so now what we will do we will take uh, common laplace transformation of y common this is multiplication so on taking laplace transformation of y common from these three expression like the we have laplace transformation of y in these three expression so we will have here sq plus 2 years square minus s minus 2 times laplace transformation of y okay next we have minus s square minus 2 years minus 2 minus 2 years minus 4 plus 1 equals to 0 so we will have here laplace transformation of y equals to now solve this bring this to other side so s square minus minus plus minus 4s on going to other side it will get plus 4s and here we have minus 4 minus 2 minus 6 plus 1 minus 6 plus 1 is minus 5 so here we have plus 5 and this divided by s q plus 2s square minus s minus 2 so now what we will do we have to do the uh, partial fraction of this expression so i have done the partial fraction here in the another page so you can see here we have got this expression so i'm i have i just provided here just to decrease the length of the video so if you have watched my lecture on partial fraction in the previous lecture you can easily solve this so we have done the partial fraction of this expression and on solving we have got the value of a b 
and see here you can try it try to solve it by yourself also and if you face any kind of problem you can write me on my email address now let's proceed further so on doing the partial fraction we will have here a upon uh, a upon s plus 1 is minus 1 upon s plus 1 and value of b is 5 by 3 so plus 5 by 3 times s minus 1 and value of c is 1 by 3 so 1 by 3 times s plus 2 so now we have we will have here y equals to inverse laplace transformation of minus 1 upon s plus 1 and plus 5 times inverse laplace transformation of 5 by 3 times inverse laplace transformation of 1 upon s minus 1 plus 1 by 3 times inverse laplace transformation of 1 upon s plus 2 so we know the formula like inverse laplace transformation of 1 by s plus 1 is this minus is here e to the power uh, my plus means minus t okay plus 5 by 3 times minus means e to the power t plus 1 upon 3 times e to the power minus 2t so we can take 1 by 3 common from both the expressions so we can rewrite re it as an answer also or we can do one more step like if we take 1 by 3 common so we will have here 5 times e to the power t plus e to the power minus 2t minus e to the power minus t so this is our final answer and i hope you enjoyed this lecture see you in the next video with new example based upon the uh, application of inverse laplace transformation for differential equation so if you haven't subscribed this channel then do subscribe the channel and see you in the next video till then stay safe and take care of yourself